Hi everybody, I'm Craig Compton with the Video Info Guys and uh, we're awful honored to be sitting here today in beautiful Boca Raton, Florida with the author and uh, multi-talented Dr. Larry Lampert and uh, we're going to have an opportunity right now to ask him a few questions about one of his best-selling books and how you can start taking strokes off of your golf game almost immediately without buying any new equipment. That's the cool part about it. So uh, first, Dr. Lampert, thank you very much for joining us here today. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. Well, it's been great. And uh, we're just going to jump right back into these questions so uh, we can give some content to our to our subscribers. Um, first, we'd like to know what you did before you became famous for uh, writing and publishing Pro's Edge Vision Training for Golf. Tell us a little bit about your background. Well, background is, as a kid, I did a lot of things, painting houses, took engines apart, worked on a construction job, uh, decided to go to college. Went to college, took seven years to go through, um, was trying to become a rock star, and when that didn't happen, I decided to go, to go to optometry school, and that was kind of a natural progression because my father had an optical shop and I used to grind lenses and make glasses and things like that, and I thought that was the next step would be to be the guy who, you know, tells you what prescription you need in your glasses, help people see and all that kind of stuff. So I went to optometry school, and when I was at optometry school, I got exposed to the fact that there was a lot more to vision than just seeing little letters on the chart, which is all I had known about up till then, and that there was a lot to be concerned with, with um, visual processing and how your eyes judge things and things like that. Well, that's great. And so who would you say was your inspiration other than your father? Was your father the main reason that you ended up in, in vision training? My father and his business were the main reason I ended up going to optometry school. Once I was in optometry school, because I knew nothing about those things, I got exposed to different professors and teachers who um, taught subjects on, you know, vision and learning, vision and posture, how vision uh, can be affected by strokes and head injuries, uh, how visual processing problems can affect children in school. And um, I did an internship while I was at school uh, to learn more about this, and was surprised when I got there that I actually had a branch office at the Philadelphia, at the uh, Spectrum in Philadelphia. And we're doing training on the Philadelphia Flyers. So that was my first exposure to sports vision training. Well, that, that's neat, and that's something we share in common. We uh, both grew up and were schooled in the Philadelphia area, so uh, that's kind of neat. Not that you needed to know that. But uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, I guess uh, uh, from the transition from there, what made you get started with vision training for sports in particular and uh, for golf? All right. What first happened was in my practice, I was doing vision training. I was becoming known in the area for doing it. And I had a baseball player's wife come into the office, and I didn't know who she was. She had me examine her eyes, and then after I was done, she said, I'm going to send my husband in. He's a pro baseball player uh, for the Chicago Cubs at the time. And he's been hearing about the sports vision training stuff, and some of the other guys are doing it, and they're doing real well with it. And I actually came in here to check you out, because I heard you did this stuff, and I'm going to send them in. So uh, Doug came in to me, Doug Jennings came in to me, uh, he was my first sports vision training case, even though I'd been doing this stuff for a while, was exposed to it. Uh, great success story. He basically went off to Japan during the strike after the year we worked with him, became most valuable player, consecutive home run record, and became a national hero over there. I was quite pleased with it.